Welcome back to another video. Today I have something very, very special. Uh, I don't want to talk too much because this shoe is, is really cool and I want to just show you what it is, show you some detailed shots of it and then I'll talk through as I do it. So let's just jump straight into the box and take a look at what we have here. I was really careful to not scratch what's inside here because this is a very special thing. Yep, that's right. Let's get rid of this. So right here, we have a pair of shoes from Avery Footwear. Avery, Leon Avery is a really good friend of mine. And during lockdown 2020, he decided he was gonna follow his dreams of creating his first ever sneaker. Without any background in shoe design or foot, footwear design, he just thought, this is the time, I'm gonna go for it. And so from scratch, he created his own footwear company, Avery Footwear. My pair is number three of 150 pairs that are gonna release on this first run. So I'm very, very privileged to get hold of these. I'm gonna... Nice, it's got a little magnetic closure. Ooh, there we go. Beautiful pair. Look at that. Amazing. Yeah, these are beautiful. Well done, bro. Well done. I can't believe you actually pulled this off. This is crazy. So as you can see, you've got a white base with some tan uh, suede, tan and gray suede panels. I'm loving the ribbing around the ankle part as well. That's gorgeous. Every signature on the heel there, and on the top of the tongue, it says Avery there as well. These are, these are beautifully done. Let's get the other one out. Each shoe is individually wrapped in tissue as well. Very lovely fine paper. Oh, there's a card in here. So yeah, Avery Ambition, that's the name of his shoe. And mine is number three of 150, as I said personalized insoles, 10 millimeter thick. So one thing that he did that I think is a really beautiful touch is everyone who, his first 100 followers on Instagram, their names are on the insoles of these shoes, which I think is just super cool. Sadly, I wasn't one of the first 100 people to follow him, so I'm not on the shoe, but I still feel very privileged to get hold of one of the first pairs that he's released. Let's just loosen it so I can show you the insoles. So yeah, well he's written on here, the first 100 followers and everyone who contributed towards making this dream a reality. When Avery initially started this project, it was called the Untitled Footwear Project. He had a fo focus group of people to help him develop the shoe. So these people are on that side of the shoe on the left insole and on the right insole is his first 100 followers, which is super cool. It's a nice thick insole as well. You know, 10 millimeters. I absolutely love the detailing on these. Like there's there's a level of craftsmanship on here that I really did not expect. Even though I knew Leon was going to do it properly, I just, I've never seen anyone create a shoe from scratch at this level. You know, most of the people I know who have created shoes, they've done a collaboration, which is, which is huge anyway, to get a brand to recognize you and collaborate with you. But to create your very own shoe from scratch is, yeah, something I don't, I don't know if, I've, I, don't know if I know anyone who's done that. So, yeah, this is, this is crazy. The tongue is also connected to the sole of the shoe. So you've got that nice springy tongue in there as well. So you don't have to have the shoes super tight to still feel a bit of support. The height of the ankle is really nice. I feel like that's gonna give you some good protection and comfort when you're wearing them. The stitching is all really solid as well. Like even just in terms of details. On the midsole, you've got, it's like a slightly off-white colored rubber midsole and you've also got off-white threading through that and then on the gray panels you've got gray stitching and on the tan panels you've got a nice light brown stitching as well so even just going with the different colors for all of the different panels I think is a really nice touch it's just crazy detail the leather feels soft these are really nicely done even the molding on the bottom of the shoe that's beautiful some nice deep tracks 
But anyway, enough of me talking. Let's take a look at the shoe.